Welcome to the Math 1 lesson summary video for the task to function or not to function. This is a practice understanding task and the purpose of this task is to practice identifying functions and non-functions from various representations and to do that we're also going to have to discuss independent and dependent variables. So let's remember our definition of a function which is that every x must go to one y. And so for this exercise it's going to be helpful to think about how every independent variable value goes to one dependent variable value so that's an alternative definition of function that replaces x with independent variable and y with dependent variable to help us for this task so general convention is that when we talk about one variable versus another we talk about y versus x, or y depends on x, or y with respect to x. So that's gonna help us to identify our variables. So in problem one, a person's name versus their social security number. So the dependent in this case is the name, and the independent is the social security number. So this is a function because every social security number goes with one name. It's a distinct identifier for that person. On the other hand, in problem two, if we switch it and we're talking about social security number versus name, social security number is now dependent and name is independent. So it's very possible that there are multiple people out there named John Smith and they will have distinct social security numbers. So I'll call it SSN1, SSN2, SSN3. They each are named John Smith, but they have different social security numbers. There's probably hundreds of people with that name. So that is not gonna be a function. All right, so continuing on, number five, the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit with respect to the time of day. So our independent is time, and our dependent is temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. So at every time of day, there's only one temperature that is the temperature outside. So this is certainly a function. And in number six, generally tables are given as X and Y. So our independent is distance and our dependent is days. So we don't have any other context, but we can see that these two distances of six correspond with different days. So that means this is not a function because we have one X, one single X value of six going to multiple Y's. And that can't happen with a function. Scrolling on down to 10, 11, and 12, the size of the radius of a circle dependent on the area. So the radius length of the circle is dependent on the area. So area is independent, radius is dependent. This is a function because we have the governing relationship for area of a circle that area equals pi r squared. Um, in this case, it would need to be reworked to solve for r, um, which happens to be that r equals the square root of a divided by pi. That's not super important, but the clear thing that I want you to see is that for any a value, there's only one radius that's going to be associated with it. You can't have multiple circles with the same area, but have different radius lengths. So this is a function because every area has one corresponding radius length. Number 11, students letter grade dependent on the percent earned. So letter grade is dependent, percent earned is independent. So the question is, does every percent earned go to one single letter grade? And that is a yes, so this is a function because every percent earned goes to one letter grade. For example, 97% goes to an A, 
91% goes to an A, it's okay that they both go to A. Each X is going, each independent is going to one dependent, one letter grade, a 73 is going to a C, so it is a function. And finally, number 12, the length of fence needed with respect to the amount of rectangular area to be enclosed. So the length of fence needed is dependent and the independent is the amount of area. And so let's just think about that for a second. So I could have a rectangular fence that's three by four and the area would be 12 square units. And the total length of fence would be three plus three plus four plus four, which is 14. And I could also have, I could also have a six by two fence where the area would be 12 square units, but the length would be six plus six plus two plus two, which is 16 instead of 14. So we have the same area going to multiple lengths, the same X going to two different Y's, and that makes this not a function. Thank you for watching. If you need help with the Ready, Set, Go homework problems, please check out the Ready, Set, Go support site in Canvas.